has happened, and this is the honest to God's truth. With everything that I've said, I do not know where she is. The last person that I saw her with is Zenaida. She's the last person that I've seen her daughter with. Um, you know, that, that, that's not true. That can't be the truth. There's little threads of truth in all these little lies. She's telling I know it. We just can't get it together. Here's where it needs to end. Here's where the truth needs to come out, okay? No more lies. No more bull coming out of your mouth. We've been very respectful. We're taking our time and talking to you. But we're tired of the lies. No more lies. What happened to Kaylee? I don't know. My daughter may ha have some mistruths out there or half-truths, but she is not a murderer. Basically, if you're trying to fabricate a story to kind of make something look a little bit better, now is your time to tell me. Are you telling me that this is the story you want to stick with? It's the truth. It's the story I'm going to stick with. Now you want Before we take you to Tracy, California, and the search for an eight-year-old little girl, I want to go back out to Mark Williams. So right now, as it stands, we've got the defense yet again putting somebody on the hot seat under oath that will torpedo the defense. You've got a best friend that Top Mom stole from. You've got another friend uh, that she wanted to give <laughs> Kelly away to, wanted to put the child up yeah. for adoption. And now uh -huh. a lover at the time Kelly goes missing. And I, I just researched it very quickly. The movies mm -hmm. she checked out with this guy, Tony Lazaro, her then lover, untraceable yeah. about a, a kidnapper and a killer and jumper about a mother who abandons her little child. Okay, that's what she picked out to watch on video. Let's see that video, Liz. There we go. On or about the day Kelly is murdered. This is the guy they want to put under oath? Are they crazy? I don't think they're crazy. I think they, they want some more information out of Lazaro as to why and, and really get in depth with what she was doing at the apartment from July 5th on until she was arrested for the for the first time in this case uh you know the uh, two movies may uh, may uh, be a good defense uh, witness or a good defense uh, move to see what her psyche was about during that period of time nancy uh, let's go to the lawyers sue moss Ray judice daniel horowitz uh sue i hardly think it's going to help the defense to put up on the day that kelly is murdered or we believe she's murdered the mom's checking out a, movies about a killer and a kidnapper and a mother who abandons her tot. With friends like these, who needs a prosecutor? I mean, these friends are going to do her in. The fact They're that not doing her in, Sue Moss. They are simply telling the truth under oath about her behavior. She dug her own grave. Absolutely. They're just going to describe how she did it. Can those videos come in, Ray Judice? Will that be part of the evidence? Boy, that's tough. I think not. I don't think Why? the videos. Just give me one hold legal on, hold reason. On. I don't think the videos themselves are coming in. The titles might come in, but I don't think we're going to play an hour and a half, two hour video for a jury in the middle of the trial. Yeah, the judge is you're right find... about that. Let okay. me rephrase. Okay. Good. Let me rephrase. Yep. Daniel, do you believe that the titles and the content of these two videos. That's my point. You're right, Ray. We'll come into evidence. I think so, Nancy. It goes to her state of mind. Once the prosecution proves that she killed her child, the trial shifts to why. And what was going on in her head is a combination of everything that went on before, during, and after the killing. So, yes. Very quickly to Dr. David M. Posey. He's a medical examiner and forensic pathologist. He is at Glen Oaks Pathology Medical Group there in L.A., very well respected. Dr. Posey, we have just learned that the duct tape evidence, it's on DVD. Obviously, it's a series of still photos, or it could be a video, of the duct tape wrapped around uh, Kelly's skull has been released. Hasn't been released to the public yet, but it's been handed over to the defense. That means it will be public very soon. I want to announce right here that photos of Kelly's skull will not be televised on this show but it, it, it will get out. I'm sure it will be leaked out and end up in a tabloid. But Dr. Posey, <laughs> uh, my question is, what can the photos reveal? What does this DVD have on it? You're the expert. 
Well, I think it's going to show how the tape was placed. If there's any resistance to placing the tape, another Kaylee's still alive and functioning, I think you're going to see some twists, turns in the tape. You know, if you have just a still individual who's unconscious, placing the tape should be very uniform and very complete. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of changes because of the decomposition and so forth. And then this little red uh, mark that was on this little heart, they may be able to trace that as well as to where that came from. So I think there's going to be some evidence to come from that that will be very, very helpful. And it sounds like if it's being given now out to the defense that the prosecution has got some good evidence from it. To Brian Wright, Deputy Chief at Bergen County Sheriff's Office, joining us from New York. Brian, thank you for being with us. Brian, just common sense, what's the point of putting duct tape on a skull, on a, a, a human, after they're dead? Well, uh, you know, a lot of times offenders that are, if she was an organized offender that planned this and plotted this, she may want to cover up the face, uh, cover up the mouth, putting the heart over is a sign of some type of affection. And one of the other interesting thing is, the National Center of Missing Exploited Children published some information that shows that typically parents that kill their child, wrap them in plastic, and bury them at a location that's known to the parent, that they feel comfortable and safe. And that's very, uh, very uh, germane to th this case here. You know what, that's an excellent point, and you are correct. Everybody, we're switching.